So in a recent awards ceremony, the age of the winner for Best Actor was 36, and the age of the winner for Best Actress was 55. For all Best Actors, the mean age is 44.4, and the standard deviation is 5.7. For all Best Actresses, the mean age is 36.4, and the standard deviation is 11.2. Relative to their genders, who had the more extreme age? Now, if this was in a classroom, it's generally assumed that an Oscar winner for a woman, um, it probably, the women's ages probably have a lower mean and a smaller standard deviation. So that is kind of the general thought, and that's what standard deviation does. We want to calculate the z-score. So we want to calculate the z-score. The z-score, by definition, is the value that we're testing minus the mean over the standard deviation, which kind of reminds me of what we were doing with the empirical rule. I would take a value, subtract the mean, and then find, divide by standard deviation to find out how many standard deviations that was. So let's look at the actors. We are going to take the value in this recent show. The actor was 33 years old. For actors, the mean age is 43.2, the standard deviation of 6.4. So calculate the z-score for the actors, please. So go ahead and work ahead of me a little bit. 33 minus 43.2 over 6.4. Now, I want you to notice this actor's age is below the mean. Because of the way the um, z-score is set up, an actor's age that is below the mean is going to give me a negative standard deviation. Rounded, and for the z-score, we're going to round to two places, two decimal places for z-scores. So now let's do the actress. The actress was 46. The mean age for the actress is 32.7. The standard deviation is 11.3. So plug those in, please, and calculate a z-score for the actresses, the actress. So we're going to have 46 minus 32.7 over 11.3. And that's going to give us positive 1.176, rounded to two decimal places is 1.18. So we have two groups. They have different means. They have different standard deviations, but we can compare them. So one of them has a z-score of 11, uh, sorry, negative 1.59, and the other has a z-score of positive 1.18. Since the z-score for the actor is negative 1.59, the z-score for the actress is positive 1.18, which one is more extreme? So since this value is more extreme, it's negative, but its absolute value would be a higher number, then the actor had the more extreme age.